Punchboard Media, where we all bring something to the table. Pull up a chair at punchboardmedia.com. So now we're at the Deep Water Games booth and looking at the Kickstarter for Sovereign Skies. We have the designer here, Aaron, so we're going to check it out. Yeah, so basically this is uh, a space sci-fi Euro. Um, and in this game, you are one of four human factions that is flying in from old Earth. And we've just discovered that there is uh, a system of six planets called the ABC Cluster. Um, and on each one of these planets, there are, there's a different alien race. And each of these alien races um, are have a specialty in, in some sort of um, diplomatic area uh, or being able to build stuff. Um, so uh, the things that you're wa that you're wanting to do when you get here is you're going to be moving around this rondelle with your mothership. Um, when you get to any one of these planets, um, you can you can stop basically and do the special action there, plus a couple actions that's global for all of this game. Um, you're going to be basically picking up cards, dropping ships, um, and, and enacting special actions that get you points. For instance, this is Recruit. If I were to come to Devas and pick up a card, if I'm red, I'm going to lay down a ship. And I'm also going to try to recruit one of the senators that are out here for favors. Um, so I'm sort of, we're sort of exploiting the system in this diplomatic fashion. Um, gaining influence as we go. Um, I will need to have any one of these, uh, uh, what, we, what we call pol uh, politic cards out here in order to pick up one of these centers. So for instance, if I've gone to these planets and I have these cards, I'm able to turn these back in. I can only have one instance at a time. I put those down, I'm able to pick this guy up. I also get the topmost chit in that uh, pile, and this goes onto my board, and I collect these for influence. Now this guy's going to have a couple of favors on him, and I can choose one or the other, and that'll just go out of the game once I do that. Um, the other way to, to get influence in this game is to construct bases. Now bases are built by uh, all of your ships, so your ship's amounts that it costs to build a base are actually on each one of these tiles. In the orange it costs four, in the purple it costs three, and in the green it costs two. Um, so that means any time that I have, say, two ships and I'm green here, uh, I can actually build a base and I would pull them off my board and I have little bonus actions that I get to do when I do that. But in order to build, I will have to be on the build actions and that the construct action is actually at this planet, the Uti. So once I'm there, <clears throat> I'm able to, to, to pick wherever I have uh, the requirement for building a base and I will take those off, choose that spot. And I may pick from this uh, row here and put that on there. <clears throat> that would give me uh, two extra energy on that turn. So energy is used actually in this game to go around the rondelle. At any point in time, I can actually pay two energy to turn around and go the other way. So you can be going clockwise or counterclockwise in this game. Um, I can also pay to go extra space. So if at every turn, I can always go one space. But if I want to go more and further to do something I wanted to do, maybe I want to go that as far as that. This would be free, one, two, three, so I would have to actually pay three energy to get that far around the board. But that would get me necessarily, if I have plans, I want to do something that'll get me there a little faster. So uh, the other thing that you want to do is actually activate. I went to the right spot. So go here to activate. That's going to spin my base around, and it'll show that that's activated. Now this is actually a majority over any of these things. Activated bases has majority over any amount of anything else. Unactivated bases have majority over any amount of ships. Uh, and then most ships. What majorities do is if somebody else lands here and, I have, and I'm green and I have majority, I'm gonna get an extra energy from the bank. It's a little bit of income there. Now, once I activate a base as well, uh, what that's gonna do is I'm gonna check uh, here and whatever color that, that planet is, you can see that's a green planet. I'm gonna pick up this topmost chip from there and put it in my pile and I've got uh, influence from activating that base. Um, now the last way to score in this game is through pledge and so what that means is when I go here I may have some cards, some extra cards here that I decided I haven't, I didn't want to spend on senators, maybe I just want to pledge those cards. Well I'm looking out here where I have majorities 
And if somebody else has one of the cards that I have, but I have majority in that place, I'm actually able to take that off of their board and put it onto mine. Okay. So that's a variable three points that I can either have at the end of the game, unless it's taken away from me, by someone having majority and pledging. So I'm actually getting four points per pledge because I'm getting one point per card on top of that, but these I get to keep, even if that gets taken away from me. If they're out here and nobody's taking them, I just get to take them. It doesn't matter if I have majorities out there or not. Plus, I'm going to get a little energy bonus here, so that helps this get uh, contested at the very beginning of the game. Um, and that's about it. At the end of the game, every three uh, energy is a point, and then you add up all your influence. Uh, basically, when these piles go uh, all the way down, um, uh, two of the piles are gone, it triggers end game. Um, and it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to play, if you know how to play, uh, with, with four players. So it's, it's actually really quick, really fun. And this is on Kickstarter right now? It is on Kickstarter right now. Please go back it. <laughs>